All right, guys, today we're going to take a look at this little sensor right here. Focus? Yeah. This is the ADXL335. It is a three axis accelerometer. And it's got five pins. Let's see if you can we'll focus on that and you can read it. There we go. VCC, X out, Y out, Z out, and ground. So <clears throat> we are going to hook this up to our Arduino just by plugging her in like that. Nothing to it, right? And we're going to start with X out to A0. Y out to A1. Z out to A2. We're going to run our ground to the Arduino's ground and this is a 3.3 volt device so we'll run our VCC to the Arduino's 3.3 volt. So give you a good look at the hook up there. Now this uh, is a nice little sensor and it doesn't require any libraries to use. So we can write a simple script to read the values. And what will happen is as we tilt the sensor one way, like for instance this would be this would be the x-axis this way. So if we tilt the sensor this way to the left, the x-axis will decrease. If we tilt the sensor to the right, it will increase. Same with the y-axis and the z-axis. So let's take a look at the programming for this. And we'll write a little script to read the output of this through the serial monitor. And this will be the first step in uh, making a cool little uh, program, project, whatever you want to call it. All right, guys, we are going to look at the programming for how to read data from that ADXL335 uh, three-axis accelerometer. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create three constants, integers, X pin, A0, Y pin, a1 and Z pin A2. Okay, that's where we've plugged in our three sensor lines. Now, the only thing we have in setup is serial begin because we're going to output the data to the serial port. And then we're going to begin our program loop and we're going to read each pin. So we're going to create an integer called x for the x-axis, analog read x pin, which if you remember is a0. Then we create a variable called y, analog read the y pin, and then we're going to analog read the z pin. And you notice I put a delay between these guys. It's always a good idea to have at least a one millisecond delay when you're reading data from one of these sensors just to make it more stable and then to output it it's just as simple as to print it to the serial port so we can have a look at it serial print X serial print Y serial print Z now here's something new that we haven't done before we have the serial print in quotes backslash T that prints a tab again we have a tab and then we have the new line. 
pretty simple, right? All right, let's ship this out to Arduino and have a look at it. All right, now we're looking at our data values. We have our X value here, Y value, and Z value. And I'll move it on the X axis first and descend, then the Y axis. and the z-axis then as I just kind of swirl it around in the air you can see the values changing now it's a simple matter of plugging those values into your program if you're trying to balance something for instance uh, it's a simple matter of saying uh, make a new value for x call it say new x and then you could say if new x is less than x, then do something. Or if new x is greater than x, do something else. Pretty simple, but that's how to read from a three-axis accelerometer. If you like this, please like, comment, and share. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what the heck are you waiting for?